Did you know that incorporating the right foods could greatly enhance your menopause weight loss journey? Let's dive into my Galveston diet grocery haul and find out how. Many people struggle with whether it's dieting or exercise, where to begin. Grocery shopping can be so difficult for some people. Well, I'm an expert. That is one of my favorite things to do. Whether I am right at home or in another country, I love to grocery shop and I want to show you great tips on how you can be successful on the Galveston diet. I'll walk you through aisle by aisle and show you the specific foods that align with the Galveston diet. Here's the exciting part. When we're done grocery shopping, we are going to go into my kitchen and make a five ingredient meal that you are going to love. And it is super quick takes you less than a half hour to throw it together. I'd say 15 minutes and you will be eating and loving life. All right, two of my new faves are these keto snacks with coconut, coconut clusters. One has quinoa and sunflower seeds and um, coconut. So the chocolate in there is good. It's dark chocolate, very low carb. Um, and then they have this one that's not chocolate that has pumpkin seeds and um, what else is in there? something else. And this one is four carbs also. Hemp seeds, sunflower seeds, tasty. Then you have your regular sunflower seeds. Really good snack. And then this whole nut section here, have at it. Next. Okay. What I want you to do in your kind of, this is right before my produce. I want you to get one of these packets. Now it's chicken with artichoke and spinach and some cheese. And we are going to do something with this. It's low in carb. You're going to love it. And then we're going to go get our artichoke hearts. You can get the seasoned that are already seasoned or those that aren't. But I buy both. Buy both. Why not? Because you can put them in stuff really high in fiber. Also by them is your olives. Olives have a lot of fat and these will be helpful when you need some fat. Okay. At first, my first couple of weeks, I did not incorporate any um, like keto bread products, but I got a little bored. And so I included Aldi has a keto bread. It has zero net carbs. It has 10 grams of fiber. And that is an oat fiber that's used to make the bread. And it has, you know, some fat in it and some protein. And it's really good. Next on the list, Aldi has a great grass fed beef jerky. I love this beef, beef jerky. It has a little bit of sugar in it. Uh, so I don't eat it a lot. I'm trying to not eat any added sugars. Aldi has some crackers. I'm not a huge fan of them. I bought a pack. I mean, you may love them. I would give them a try. They also have cheese crisps, which you can make yourself, but cheese crisps again, and these crackers are great to have in the car for emergencies or in your desk at work, just to have on hand, just in case. And they also have a really good fresh mozzarella cheese that I buy. And they have a lot of great cheeses, a lot of, you know, grass fed cheeses. So please check them out. You'd be surprised what great products they have. And then their guacamole is amazing. And so is their salsa. What I do with the guacamole, I buy the tub of guacamole. And then they also have a pico de gallo. I get the spicy pico de gallo and I mix them. And oh my goodness, it is so delicious. And you know, I like a little more veg in my guac than what they have, but it's a really good guac base and then put the pico in and you will like it. Can't forget your Parmesan cheese. If you can afford it, get the Parmigiano Reggiano. It has more flavor. And then these sausages are really good. Throw them in dishes. They're really yummy. Fry them up really good. Slice them and fry them. That's my favorite way. And then you have the whole meat section to choose from. Now, there are a couple of things I like here. I love all the pre-done meatballs. For three meatballs, it's about four grams of carbs. Not bad. They are pre-seasoned, delicious, delicious, delicious. And then also, I'm going to try this new pesto, seasoned pesto chicken. I bought some of their Santa Fe already seasoned. Has a few carbs in it, not many. It's great for nights when you don't want to cook. Just fry it up in a pan, throw it on the grill, and have a salad with it, and you cannot go wrong. Their grass-fed ground beef is delicious, it's organic, and a very reasonable price, so pick that up while you're there as well. They have a great bacon that's uncured, no nitrates, no nitrites, super tasty. It's a 12-ounce package. Get your whole milk yogurt there, super yummy. Their eggs are good. You know, that whole section, primo. Remember, 
full fat yogurt, full fat sour cream. Next, my favorite part, the chocolate little end cap. Now on this particular day, they did not have the 85% cocoa or the 70%. 85% is a little up there, barely any sweetness. I would rather have the few more carbs in the 70%. And then the peanut butter and almond butter. Oh, the almond butter has less carbs. So I've been using that, really liking that, but they also have an all natural, no sugar added peanut butter. So you can pick up both of those. These are one of my husband's and my favorites. We are now eating tostada shells with our salsa because we love chips and salsa instead of tortilla chips because tortilla chips are, just have so much salt on them. In the five weeks I've probably had two or three of these and I melt some cheese on them then put avocado and picante and salsa and sour cream. Super tasty. Or you could just dip them in your salsa. Now what probably most people are missing is pasta. Aldi has two great products for you that are made from heart palms and they come in bags. They're by the pasta section and the sauces and they are hearts of palm in strings. <laughs> I don't know how they do it, but they're delicious and they make really good faux noodles. And then right next to them are your sauces. Now you got to be careful with your canned sauces because a lot of times they put added sugars. Now Aldi now has the Rao's brand that does not have any added sugars. It does have some carbs, but not many, but as long as it doesn't have the added sugars, great. It's $6.99 there but they also have their brand of organic that is $1.99 and each of them have a little more carb, but not, they don't have any zero added sugars, no added sugars in either choices. One thing I forgot to take you to was the freezer section for the riced cauliflower. Riced cauliflower comes really in handy because uh, you use it like rice or a pasta, you know, it's kind of a filler, makes the meal seem a little more oomph to it, you know, and you're not like, hmm, that's ugly. You know, it just really helps fill it up a bit. Are you ready for the meal I promised you? The ingredients we're using from Aldi, I didn't have you buy Kalamata olives there or feta cheese. You can get those here too. I did show you that pack of the, the feta with the olives and all that. You can use that in this as well. So either or you choose, but we are going to take the chicken and we're gonna just take it out and we're gonna chop it up. It says it's made for three people and I was like, what? How could this be for three people? If you're eating it just out of the thing, low carb, but it's definitely two people and you're stretching it. The way I'm going to show you how to make it definitely can be three to four people. So we're just going to take that chicken out and we're going to chop it up. We're going to put it in our pan that's on low, going to put it in there chopped up and you know, get all the juice and all those flavors out of the bag, get all that in there and just stir it, start it to get warm. Then we're gonna take our cans of artichoke. Either one, the marinated one has more flavor, the other one doesn't. Now for this, I, I've done this different ways. Uh, the first time I did it, I put Swiss cheese over the top. I only had one ounce. My husband needed more Swiss cheese or more fat in his diet that day. I put two ounces on his. This time I'm using feta cheese and Kalamata olives, which are salty. So, Make sure you drain these if you're gonna use the feta and Kalamata like this recipe shows. If you're just gonna put a different cheese or no cheese, you can probably with a marinated one, just throw it all in. I would not throw in the brine with the unmarinated one. It can get too salty um, or maybe just do half and see if you like that or drain it into a cup and then pour some in if you want to later, if you feel like it needs some jish, you know, a little salt, a little kick. Um, either way is fine. You're gonna throw in your artichokes, stir those in. You're gonna throw in your frozen riced cauliflower, stir that up, and at this point, you can eat it. It's very low carb. You will love it. It's simple, just throw in a bowl, eat it. But here's the thing. If you need more fat, need more protein, this is your time to add it. You can add more cheese to get more protein and fat. Um, you know, feta doesn't have a huge amount of protein, so you may want to switch to a different cheese. You can make it more Italian and use like a marinated mozzarella cheese. It's up to you. The, 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 and the options are endless. And then at the end, like, okay, have you had your pumpkin seeds, your flax seeds, your hemp hearts? Have you had any of that today? Throw some of that in there. 
very tasty, gives it some texture. Cause really, I mean, you get texture from the chicken, there's texture in the artichoke, and then your seed, your pumpkin seed would add some texture. Um, and the little hemp parts add a little chew. So try those and you are done. It's a meal made in minutes. Is it Galveston approved? Uh, well, it's probably not as whole foods as she wants, but you know what? Sometimes we are busy people and we don't have time to cook. To sum it up guys, stocking your pantry is key to any healthy eating strategy that you have in your home. It's key. So what you need to learn how to do is grocery shop. And then you can make, mix and match and cook up all you want. I hope this episode helped you out. Please subscribe below and I would love to hear from you on your menopause journey. Tell me, are you peri? Are you post? Did you hit that one day mark after your 12 months of no period and that's your day of menopause starts? What is it? Please comment below. Let me know what foods you like and I will try to come up with some amazing recipes for you. And also give me a thumbs up. Thanks, have a great day.